Well, good morning. Now be prepared to be dazzled by the precision of the aerial skills of the native birds of prey at the Raptor Free Flight. Amanda Timmerman is here with one of these magnificent birds. Amanda, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. And I joked a little bit at the beginning about uh, a raptor not being the dinosaur, but the bird, because we've kind of been joking about that. that oh, absolutely, <laughs> with the movies. And, yes. Yeah. Well, so explain to me what a raptor is. A raptor is any bird that um, hunts and kills actively, um, particularly with their feet or with their beak. Wow. And so this is a raptor that you're holding yes, now? Yes, ma'am. So who is this? This is Dexter. He's a peregrine falcon. Um, <laughs> he might and talk a, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and a singer. And now, it's, uh, <laughs> is he one name. that will be in these presentations? Yeah, absolutely. So we're introducing him this year. He was born here in Tucson. They were found him behind a dumpster uh, downtown. And so while he's physically capable of flight, he's a little bit of a perch potato. And uh, he didn't quite make it out in nature. So we uh, got him from a rehab facility here in town. And we're able to use him to show him off to our visitors. Wow. Well, I think this is amazing. So tell us a little bit of the background of the peregrine falcons. Uh, you know, what are they known for? Uh, obviously very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So they're known for speed. Uh, the peregrine is the fastest clocked bird. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm the lunch lady, which is why he's talking like <laughs> that. Um, so the fastest clock is 240 miles per wow. hour, and they mostly hunt birds, so they're extremely fast on the wing and um, very, very good at picking up a moving target and hitting it in the space. Very um, cool. Uh, so then we're going to obviously have different types of raptors. Mm -hmm. What is kind of the difference between them as far as their hunting skills and anything oh, wow. else? Yeah, so um, owls are stealth hunters. By and large, they're um, nocturnal. They're very silent flyers. Um, we showcase two different species that are very different. Um, hawks are a little more general purpose, so you can find some that um, hunt like a red tail. It just sits up and waits for a small animal to make a mistake and uh, dives down on it. And you find other things like gray hawks that tend to cruise the riparian corridors after lizards. They're very, very agile. Wow, we're looking at some of these pictures of these birds just Absolutely. When I said magnificent at the beginning, I really do mean that. So when is it that we're going to be able to get kind of like this intimate look at these birds with this event? So we're starting this weekend. Yeah. Um, Saturday is our first day flying, and uh, you will absolutely see them this close and have them go right over your head. Wow. So is this part of kind of going to the Desert Museum? Is this going to be included yeah, in that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, when you come in the front gate, we fly at 10 and 2 p.m. And um, sorry, 10 a.m., 2 p.m. And I just trek on down the trail and find us and... That's See these guys nice cool. and close. So what, what kind of is the purpose that you guys are trying to get out there, having these type of events for people to come out yeah, to? Yeah, people care about and conserve what they experience. So you, when you read an article about an owl, you might think, oh, that's too bad. But when you see that owl up close and right in front of your face, that actually means something for most folks. Um, so our goal is to educate people about what, these, um, what concerns these guys are facing out in the space and what folks can do to help out with that. I love that. Desert Museum is always about educating about the animals and the, and the life around here in Arizona, which I think is great, for especially for our children. So Absolutely. this is just one of the many very cool things you can see at the mm -hmm. Desert Museum. Maybe tell us a little bit more. Oh, sure. So we do fly a variety of birds, both in the morning and the afternoon. So if you can only make one show, you still get a pretty good variety of things. Um, we come right over your head. And the neat thing that's different from a lot of bird shows is we are not in the, an auditorium or a stage. Our stage is the natural desert. Um, so you're seeing these um, birds showcased in a manner that you would find them if you were happen to stumble across one in the Grand Canyon. Um, so it's very much a more natural experience than a, a canned Thing or where the bird is a punchline and a joke. It's uh, all about the natural behavior. That is so amazing. And like you said, uh, somebody is definitely more um, apt to maybe help with c conservation when they actually mm -hmm. see the bird and witness how beautiful they are. Yeah. What can people actually do to help your efforts? Oh, wow. Um, there's a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, right now, habitat conservation is a huge one. And then pesticides, herbicides. Um, these guys were actually decimated to peregrine falcons by DDT, which was a pesticide. And that's, um, they've come back. They're off the endangered species list, and they're doing really well in most locations. But uh, yeah, just being aware. Of, of what you're using and donations are always welcome. Well, good for you. Off that endangered list. <laughs> list good for yeah. you, buddy. I love that. Well, now we said the free flights are at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. How long are, uh, is the museum itself open daily? Oh, golly. So right now we are back on uh, winter schedule, so it's 7.30 to 5. Okay, great. So make sure to make a day of it. There's yes, so much absolutely. to see There's at the museum. We definitely want to catch the free flight because that's amazing. And what a great experience for us to get to see that up close and personal. But Thanks. make sure to stay all day and really mm -hmm. enjoy what the museum has to offer. 
Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having and us you this morning. And you as well. Yeah, <laughs> Dexter. He, he participated. He was thank you, Dexter. <laughs> yeah, he and I enjoyed his singing, so it was <laughs> very nice. Thank you again, Amanda. Thank you. And you can witness Raptor free flight starting October 17th and running all the way through March 27th. For more details, you can call 883-1380 or visit desertmuseum.org.